Okay, so first thing you do is go to the Win. And then you download Winamp. Then you go to the Shoutcast. Then you um DSP plugin for Winamp 5.x. Download that one. Then download the Shoutcast server. The first one. And then download the where you embed HTML text. Then download the Sam Broadcaster. So then go um, open up the shoutcast DNAS and go to edit log. Then you can change the max user from 32 to whatever you want. And um, you have to make a password and the port base. That's the port number. Then you have to kill the server. Then open it up again. Then you can hide the monitor. So then open up Winamp. <coughs> so then hit Control P <coughs> to go to preferences, and then um, go down to plugins, DSP effect, and then the shoutcast one. And go to output and change description to whatever. John me everything. Then the address and connection is localhost, port number, your port number, password is password. password and then port base then you can close it then minimize winamp Then open up Sam, Sam Broadcaster. Then start up MySQL. Installer. If you want to know how to install that, watch the MySQL video. And then start up um, Sam. And if you want to know how to install that, watch the Sam video that I'm going to make sometime soon. Then open up Sam once you're done. And then go to Shoutcast Static Relay. 
local host port number password color and graph And it should upload to zero right of whatever it was. So an MP3. And the format. Choose the format that works for you. Mine's 24 KBS. 16 Hertz. And then again, you see the local host server port password. And then your uh, URL just uh, delete or shoutcast. Or local host, whatever. Then genre should be everything. You know your DJ station name, your DJ name. Yeah. IRC if you have one. I'm just gonna put it shoutcast. Then you hit the play button and. It says encoding. Yeah. That's true. much all you have to do for Sam. And then the radio in bed. You would <coughs> copy and paste the whole thing into whatever. Or um, first thing you go um, to the indented spot, local host. Change that little HTTP thing to localhost colon port number. Then save it. Or uh, save it. Then uh, go to like Dreamweaver or something like that if you have it. Or if you don't, just go to HTML body. Um, then body at, um, slash body at the end and slash HTML at the end. Just basic HTML coding. And you can help with that, just go to HTML cheat sheet. So if you're in uh, Dreamweaver, I have a template up right now. <coughs> um, so I already have it right there, I'm going to delete that one. And then you would copy and paste it into the HTML thing, which is um, in split or coding. So then you go to the document. I copy it. And then you paste it in. And you let it paste, and then you see it right here. It's a big gray box. And to view it in um, Firefox, Safari, or uh, Internet Explorer, just go CTRL O, and what it's called, whatever it is, and double click on it. But to the save first. Then you're like, yeah, it's right here. Then you hit play. And then whatnot.